इंट्रोडक्शन कैन यू रिकॉल वॉट आर द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ अ फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट वॉट टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्सेज आर यू फेमिलियर विथ वॉट डू यू नो अबाउट द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स वी हैव सीन इन द प्रीवियस स्टैंडर्ड दैट द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज अ यूनिवर्सल फोर्स एंड इट एक्ट्स नॉट ओनली बिटवीन टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑन द अर्थ बट ऑल्सो बिटवीन एनी टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द यूनिवर्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न हाउ दिस फोर्स वाज डिस्कवर्ड ग्रेविटेशन एज वी हैव लर्न द फिनोमिन ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय सर आइजैक न्यूटन as the story goes he discovered the force by seeing an apple fall from a tree on the ground he wondered why all apples fall vertically downward and not an angle to the vertical why do they not fly off in a horizontal direction after much thought he came to the conclusion that the earth must be attracting the apple towards itself and this attractive force must be directed towards the center of the earth the direction from the apple on the tree to the center of the earth is the vertical direction at the position of the apple and thus the apple falls vertically downwards shows an apple tree on the earth the force on an apple on the tree is towards the center of the earth that is along the perpendicular from the position of the apple to the surface of the earth the figure also shows the gravitational force between the earth and the moon the distances in the figure are not according to scale newton thought that if the force of gravitation acts on apples on the tree at different heights from the surface of the earth can it also act on objects at even greater heights much farther away from the earth like for example the moon can it act on even farther objects like the other planets and the sun use of ict collect videos and pptes about the gravitational force of different planets force and motion we have seen that a force is necessary to change the speed as well as the direction of motion of an object can you recall what are newton's laws of motion introduction to scientist great scientists sir isaac newton 1642 to 1727 was one of the greatest scientists of recent times he was born in england he gave his laws of motion equations of motion and theory of gravity in his book principia before this book was written kepler had given three laws describing planetary motions however the reason why planets move in the way described by kepler's laws was not known Newton with his theory of gravity mathematically derived Kepler's laws in addition to this Newton did ground breaking work in several areas including light heat sound and mathematics he invented a new branch of mathematics this is called calculus and has wide ranging applications in physics and mathematics He was the first scientist to construct a reflecting telescope. 